remember, I remember, 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 I remember, I remember, I remember the old the tags don't even love. I remember bitch, I remember the mall, smell it, smell. You better love yourself. I remember it, hey, remember forever. I remember the old the tags don't even love. I remember bitch, I remember the mall, smell it, smell. You better love yourself. I remember it, hey, remember. I remember the old the old the low. I see the old the look at them from by the cold and now like ooh, pull out the evil, I'm the people putting the new that cool. Turn out the danger, I put the nature down, down in the trap. Do too many trouble, too many with the mistrust. 'Cause I hold the mind, I run the film, my fucking life. Got let it go, and let my baby go. Crazy flow, let me be down and roll it go. Maybe no, baby take it slow. You are my only sunshine, 捧在手心里面的花呗。我追逐廉价的处处，毋庸置疑的消费。我花了无数宝贵时间来明白世间的八卦。If I speak, everybody. Not here from Round Square.、Um, coming to you this month from beautiful Chengdu, the capital of Sichuan Province in China. And、uh, yeah, it's been a been a terrific trip so far.、Uh, got another month or so left on the road, and、um, got tons of stuff to show you. Lots of little updates.、Uh, but I'm going to try and keep this month's video short because I'm sort of on borrowed time right now.、Uh, but yeah, so with that in mind, let's get at it.、Uh, this month、uh, we've got some. Uh, we actually have some pretty cool new stuff for you, so I want to highlight first of all these、uh, these beads right here. This is what we're calling the droplet、uh, bead, and it doubles. It's a、uh, boss bead、uh, mod that you can put onto your MK Ultras sets, but it can also work as a Big Larry set.、Uh, its maximum、uh, diameter here is 15 millimeters, and it goes down to 10 10 millimeters at the top. So it's a、uh, Well, then of course it rounds rounds down to a small. It's got a three point five millimeter bore,、uh, but yeah, it's it's a it's a cool shape. It's one I've been wanting to do for a long time. I've actually got a few other plans for different、um, boss bead mods for you guys, just to kind of、uh, allow everybody to kind of personalize and mix up their MK Ultras. Now that those have been kind of established and around for so long, it's kind of neat to be able to do some different stuff with them. And yeah, some of the you know when the shape works, the size and the weight and so on,、uh, we'll definitely give the option to sell them as Biglari as well.、Uh, these are cool.、Um, you might have seen on Instagram I posted a video with them inverted, so the kind of top heavy、uh, with the nimble bottom. So、uh, they feel like you know in the in the hand in that configuration they feel a little bit like our little bosses, but they just have that extra length and being top heavy, you feel that kind of. Flipping around and rolling between the fingers a little bit more. In this configuration,、uh, they they actually have they're a little bit heavier, I think, than the mangas, but they、uh, they have a similar kind of weighting where they have that that end weight that carries a lot of momentum, and they just kind of they they really anchor nicely in the hand when you、uh, when you flip them into position. So they're more stable that way,、uh, a little bit less nimble,、uh, especially without without much of a shelf at the top. But yeah,、uh, if you like top-heavy sets, flip them around. If you like bottom-heavy sets,、uh, sling them this way, and it's just a fun little modification. They are a little bit on the heavier side, even the、uh, titanium set, and we are selling them in、uh, brass, copper, stainless steel as well.、Um, they're beautifully polished. Like I, I actually had intended to to string this up on my Nano、uh, MK Ultras because I got a copper set of、uh, Nanos here with me. Just didn't have a chance before the video, but I've got my brass set. Uh, set up with the eight millimeter beads, so yeah, when we、um, when we launch these at the end of、uh, the coming week here on Friday,、um, they're going to be sold with our new version of the eight millimeter beads that have a, a three millimeter bore. So it's a slightly slightly smaller bore than what we used to have in the past, and that just I feel like it、uh, it slows down the raindrops a little bit, and it feels a little bit nicer for me, anyways, in、uh, bead counting because you don't have as much of an edge. The、uh, the edge of the beads hugs the the cord a little bit more, okay. So yeah, it's like, like quite nice for bead counting, and we're doing a 33 bead configuration on a long form length set of the cord. And this is, I you know pretty much all of my sets are set up in this manner where I have,、uh, I like to wear them long form, you know with the double loop. I find that. It kind of、uh, tucks the tassel away, like it, I don't end up with as much slack on the tassel as I do with my short form sets,、uh, and I like that look on the wrist. I don't mind having the exposed cord on the wrist,、uh, and you know the the big advantage, of course, is that you end up with this much length of exposed cord. So 
it really opens up a lot of other tricks for the MK Ultras. Uh, allows you to play them a little bit more like Buglary, whereas a standard uh, long form set where you, you're looking at almost like two full wraps around the wrist of bead coverage, uh, you end up with less exposed cord. And then that makes um, even uh, oftentimes finger rolls kind of difficult with the long form sets. And so you're a little bit more limited in the tricks that you can perform. Whereas with uh, with this kind of setup and the, this much exposed cord, they, they play really well. And I actually really like the the heavier metal beads in these. I find them like really nice and stable uh, and they're not too, too heavy. The titanium is, I, I, you know, I play it a ton and I wear it a ton and it's like in my pocket constantly just because I, I love titanium in general. But, uh, but the titanium set, if anything, is like a little bit on the light side. So a little bit more weight on, on the other metals is like uh, kind of a plus in my mind. So anyways, um, I really like, those of you who watch my Instagram, you see me playing the eight millimeter beads a lot. Uh, and I love the new boss bead. Um, we are going to be selling these, like I said, as, as this set, 33 eight millimeters plus the, the new droplet boss. We're gonna sell uh, all four metals, brass, stainless steel, copper, tie in the Buglary set as well. And we're gonna be selling them as single, uh, I guess, accent beads. Uh, so you can pick up whichever you want and you can mix and match them with other sets. They, um, you know, the aesthetics of it might take some getting used to if you're used to seeing the standard round uh, boss bead. Uh, but I'll, I'll try to post a photo uh, of how the droplet boss looks with some of the other sets. I personally think that it looks it looks really cool with with pretty much all of the smaller sets in particular. Uh, I'm, st I'm warming up to it in some of the bigger sets. But um, but yeah, there's like there's lots of different options as well. Like I I've been playing around. I, I strung up one set with a, another 15 millimeter bead below it, and it's like kind of a big chunky boss. So I don't know, lots of fun. Just like you know, those of you who are, are already pretty deep into the hobby uh, have had fun. I think with mixing and matching different bead patterns and whatever. And I think uh, I think this new droplet boss is going to be a nice addition to to the options. Right. All right. Um, so moving on from that, uh, I guess I'll talk briefly about these guys. This was, I think, our unknown product last month. Uh, these are our pocket slim notebooks, and we have them available in uh, this month. Uh, we've got the, the um, grid pattern, five millimeter grid. We've got a five millimeter dot grid, and we've got a uh, blank option for you. Okay, and uh, I've only got two of the colors here. We didn't do black in this production run because we did black last time. Uh, we have a, a blue color as well that we've produced. Uh, this one here is looking pretty thrashed because I've I, you know, carried around in my back pocket a lot or often in my, in my front pocket uh, in you know facing my phone because it's the same size as the phone. That's one of the uh, kind of selling points is that it's, uh, it's designed as an, uh, an option to your kind of uh, digital pocket buddy. Uh, you can just pull this out, pull out a pen. And I, I personally really love just jotting stuff down with pen. Uh, and it let, lets you go a little bit more free form. You can draw diagrams. Uh, on this trip, I've had my kids <laughs> doodling in the books when we're waiting for dinner and that sort of thing. Uh, but but yeah, uh, really handy little size. I, I love having the color options. And the uh, the dot grid is, is a new option for you as well, which I, I'm really happy about. Okay, so uh, I think these are going to be available as singles and also in uh, three packs, I believe. Uh, and the three packs are going to be, if I'm not mistaken, I think how we set it up is uh, three colors grid, three colors dot grid, and three colors um, plain. So you can do the three packs that way. Okay, um, so that's it for the Pocket Slim notebooks. Then uh, moving on, I want to talk about uh, these beauties. <clears throat> uh, these are our Remeshock check key, of course, with the beaver tail mod, but the materials are new. I uh, hope it shows up well on the screen because they're both gorgeous. Uh, on this side is the ebony, and on this side is a new one, green sandalwood. It smells honestly awesome. Like uh, I'm not like a big smell guy, but but I and you don't you know it's not like this intense aroma that's like going through the through the room. But when, if you uh, if you're playing with it a bit and then you pick it up, you definitely smell that sandalwood, and it's like it's a pretty pretty cool smell. I like it. Um, anyways, these are these are great. Uh, what can I say about them? The uh, the beaver tail they're they're light. They're I, th I think they're substantially lighter than the Delrin, at least like noticeably lighter, and even lighter than the acrylic. Uh, but they play really nicely. The end weight end weight of the beaver tail uh, ends, and that just that extra length, like it locks them into place nicely for all of your tricks and flipping around and stuff. I I really like how clacky they are, and 
uh, yeah, the the beads are like surprisingly durable. Like it's it's really thin and it's wood, right? So you want to be careful with them. Uh, but the these middle beads don't take much impact when when you're flipping around much. It's usually the ends that are clacking together, and the ends are good and thick, right? So I can say I have uh, I've had the this ebony set for oh gosh, I want to say about four months. And I haven't been playing it steady and I haven't been playing it rough, uh, but I've been playing it a lot. And uh, I, haven't, I haven't broken any of the beads. The green sandal wood, I had the first prototype maybe two and a half months ago. And I, I cracked a bead, but here's how I did it. It was one of the middle beads and I had, I had dropped the, the <laughs> I had dropped the set in something gross when I was out and about and I wanted to give it a thorough washing when I was got home. I always tell you guys not to use like water or chemicals or whatever on this stuff. But I like I fully immersed the beads in like soapy water, and I was scrubbing them, and partly because I wanted I want to put them through their paces, right? I don't mind doing that with my own stuff prior to launch, just to like uh, test it out. And I think what happened is the uh, the cord probably swelled up, and or maybe the bead was like slightly cracked to begin with. I don't know, but it was one of the it wasn't even one of the end beads. It was like one of the like three or four beads in, and it just cracked at one of the holes. And so I, I snapped it out and, and replaced it. And I've on this trip, I've been playing the beads, uh, these two sets a lot. I haven't had any issues. So I think they're, I think they're plenty robust, uh, but just, just a reminder, like these aren't metal and they're also not space age plastics, they're wood. So you wanna, you wanna be careful with them. Definitely like, you know, I, I get that sometimes we need to, need to clean our stuff, but treat them really gently with chemicals and uh, like water and stuff. Cause you don't want it like wood will kind of uh, age and uh, get brittle and crack. So if you do need to like uh, wash them off, like I guess like use like a damp, damp cloth or something like that. And then I recommend putting some oil on them or some beeswax or something like that to kind of recondition the wood. Uh, and uh, you know, I do that periodically anyways. Uh, and it can be like, you know, pretty much anything. I use olive oil pretty often. Um, I, about the green sandalwood, I do want to mention, uh, you probably can see a little bit in the videos, the ends are quite a bit lighter in color than the middle beads. And I asked the supplier about that. It, it was the case on the first sample that we got and it was the case on the bulk production as well. Uh, and the supplier didn't really have a satisfactory explanation for me as to why that's the case. But um, we actually had them done in two shops. The first sample was made at, a, at one shop and the bulk production was done in a different shop and the, the same issue both times. So it's not like something weird that one supplier was doing with it. I think it, um, it might just be because they, they oil the beads after they're done and maybe the, the, smaller, the smaller bead, they get like more uh, oil penetration or something like that. Uh, or the other thing that the, the wood supplier had told us is that the, the wood's actually... Um, they change color slightly in the light, so maybe something to do with that. Um, and you also see the the grain patterns on the green sandalwood, the middle beads. They're going in all different directions, and that's um. I, at first, I thought it was like machining marks, but I don't think it is. It's like I think it's actually the grain and just the way that the beads were cut, uh, and it it makes some like interesting like kind of crisscrossy stuff. But just to let you know in advance that that's the case and that it's normal, because uh, I don't want anybody like having surprises and feeling like eh, they're not, not that thrilled with it. It's like, it's, you know, as far as I can tell, perfectly normal. And I don't have a great explanation about the difference in color, but it looks pre pretty rad. And uh, I'm, I'm definitely happy with these. All right. So that's our, uh, our new uh, beaver tail Remishox. And yeah, I, I mean, I can't say enough good things about these. I play them a lot. And I, I mean, I'm, I'm playing them like constantly on this uh, this trip, and I'm out and about constantly. Like you know, they're they're getting dirty, and I'm <laughs> I'm just like living with it, you know, because uh, I don't want to I don't want to abuse them too much. But I've like I've dropped these on concrete plenty. Uh, you know, the hard tile floors around here in Asia, like it's like some very very hard floors, and they're you know they're skidding across this train and whatever. It's um, they've been they've been fine, uh, so you, you don't need to be like too paranoid about them, but just be. Just remind, remember that they are wood, right? Okay, and speaking of wood um, and green sandalwood in particular, we've got this beautiful object uh, this month as well. Finally, uh, the green sandalwood plank. I got the first sample a little while ago and um, it's been on me pretty much ever since. I love it. The, the smell is great. The grain is really cool. Uh, we're doing this in a, a polished finish, like a, a oiled, I think it might, might be a slight, lightly waxed finish, like what we did with the ebony and then also the machine finished. Um, they're both beautiful. They both have that nice uh, sandalwood aroma. 
Um, the, the reason I chose the machine finished one for myself is it just has that exposed grain. So it's like a little bit more rough. It actually, you know, to be honest, like uh, depending on your aesthetics, it's not like as strikingly beautiful as the polished ones. Like the polished ones really show off everything and it's like a, a gorgeous little object. These ones are a little bit more plain. It's like a matte finish. Uh, but my name's Matt and I like this a lot. <laughs> um, dad jokes, what man? Okay. <laughs> Um, anyways, it's, I, I've been really, really liking this thing. And I, I like the fact that it's got kind of exposed grain. It's got a little bit of roughness to it. And uh, yeah. And alongside this guy, we've got also this month clear acrylic. Uh, and these have come out really beautifully. Whoops. <laughs> Let's drop it on the glass table. But yeah, they come out beautifully. Uh, you know what you're getting into with acrylic already, I think, because we have several acrylic products. It does scratch, so it's not going to stay looking like this for long unless you like seriously baby it or kind of retouch it with some uh, plastic polishy kind of stuff. Uh, but but yeah, they're they're gorgeous. Don't expect optical clarity on these. And guys, I, I have to respond to a, a comment that I saw in our Facebook group. Um, a couple of people being bummed out about uh, the like scratch scratch finishes when they receive uh, the Altum planks and the Delrin planks. Uh, I felt really badly when I saw that comment. Uh, and please do get in touch with us if you're uh, if you receive a product that you're disappointed with. Um, hello at aroundsquare.com, and we'll you know we'll take care of it. Uh, we always do. You guys, I think, know that and can trust us on that. Um, but one thing to be aware of on the plastics: plastics are are softer than the metal products to begin with, uh, and on the planks in particular, they have this like basically a, a billboard, and depending on your angle, it catches the light. Uh, and so any little abrasion that you get on here is going to show up a lot more than it would on a set of, uh, or on like one of the, the Delrin or Ultim knuckle bones, for example. Uh, you just, you just see it that much more because you're looking right through the window and, uh, the light kind of comes off it at, at, as one like flat surface, right? So, so any little bumps, grooves, whatever show up. So the, the, the finishing on these has been really finicky. We actually, um, rejected a whole batch of, um, Delrin product post-production because they they needed to be refinished. They, they the machining lines were just too apparent, uh, so I sent them back, had them had them redone. Uh, but even so, like the, the slightest little bit of like rubbing around on the table or jostling against other products in our bins, that sort of thing, uh, it can it can scratch them up. So just be aware of that. Uh, know what you're getting into, especially with this like beautiful clear acrylic. It's it's really striking, but uh, you know you. Uh, if you, you drop it, you carry it in your pocket with something hard, and that that's it's going to look more and more like a sandblasted finish over time. All right. Okay, so that is I think it for new products for this month. Um, we're doing some pretty big restocks though as well. Uh, unfortunately, I grabbed the wrong combination of things. <laughs> this is just from my own supply when I was uh, packing to head out. We we're restocking all of our Altum Milos, and we're also restocking our Ebony commons. <laughs> so I, I grabbed my own set of uh, Altum commons and my own set of Ebony Milos, uh, but those are the opposite of what we're restocking this month. We're restocking the uh, all, all three sizes, 10 millimeter, 12 millimeter, and 14 millimeter of the Altum Milos, MK Ultras, uh, and we've got the polished finish and the machine finish for those. And then we've got the the short form and long form uh, ebony common speeds as well. All right, uh, so that's a pretty pretty big one because I know people have been like, you know, people have not been able to get enough of the ultimate material and the ebony stuff is like not far behind. It always has been selling out as well. Yep. Uh, so I think that's it, guys. Um, I'm gonna, like, I, like I said, I gotta kind of keep this a bit short. Uh, I'll do one teaser for you just because I I'm super excited about it and people have been waiting a long time. Uh, when I met our uh, Chinese employees here a little while ago, they dropped off a bunch of new samples that they just received and finally got this guy. So this is coming soon. I, this is a post-production sample of the Beavertail Mod Ultim Remishock Check Key. And it is, uh, it's as good as it looks. And I don't know, maybe next month, hopefully, uh, or if not, then another month or so. But uh, yeah, got I got so many teasers. Uh, if you follow my Instagram, you're gonna be seeing more stuff. Uh, but I think I'll stop there for now. All right. Thanks everybody. And, uh,
yeah, uh, hit me up on, uh, I guess, Instagram. I still have like pretty good internet access over here. So if you have any questions, Instagram or the Facebook group, I'm, I'm trying to stay active on Discord and stuff as well. Please um, like be aware that if you are sending me emails, I just like, I finally uh, managed to like break through the firewall here and get everything onto my computer, which is just Wi-Fi connected, had a, like a hotspot issues. Um, but yeah, like I, I've been away a month and I had like uh, 683 messages. So I'm not seeing very much in email these days. Uh, so be patient. Our team back home is still working uh, and your uh, emails to our support or like hello at aroundsquare.com should be getting through. But uh, please be a little bit patient. Know that things are a little bit like a little bit different than usual just with me being on the road. All right. Okay. Thanks, everybody. Um, yeah. Stay well. Enjoy the rest of your summer. I remember the smell. You better love yourself. I remember. I remember.